In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, the number type. In uh, the previous session, we discussed all different types of uh, data types. What is data type and uh, what are the various data types available? We learnt about the difference between primitive and uh, non-primitive types. Now, we are going to discuss one by one all the various types available in TypeScript. As we already discussed that any is the root type for all data types and to handle any specific type we need to understand the first number type. Number type is actually used to store a numeric value. If you have to handle a numeric value then uh, you have to define a number type. So in a number type you can store any numeric value. If a incoming value and if the value that you want to store is a number, then you have to define the numeric types. Usually, the numeric types are defined by using some uh, variable name and uh, a data type number equal to some value. The data type now it is defined and determined is a number type so that now sales can handle a numeric value. You cannot store any another type of value, it is strictly for storing a number. You can see I declared here some let sales and as number is equal to, I am trying to initialize a value into this uh, number and I am defining a number that is fine, but if I am trying to store any different type of value into it, then you can see an error prone here. In the error, it displays that uh, the sales is a number and A is a string which is not assignable to the type number. So you cannot assign the value A because its data type is number. Now the point is, what kind of values are treated as numbers. So usually a numeric type in TypeScript can contain, can contain, the numeric type can contain signed integers, integers. It can contain an unsigned integer, unsigned integer. It can contain a floating point, floating point, a double, a double, a decimal, decimal, an exponent, exponent, a binary and uh, hexa, hexadecimal and octa, octa. So a numeric type that can handle any one of these types. So if you declared a number type and you want to store a number, then a number can be any one of these following. It can be signed integer, it can be unsigned, it can be a floating point, double, decimal, exponent, binary, hexadecimal and octa. Usually when you are storing a value, let us take a look here, let, so signed, signed is a number, is a number and uh, it can be any signed number. Signed integers usually will be negative values and let it can be unsigned unsigned number unsigned number usually will be a positive value and let it can be a floating point floating point and usually floating uses fraction values and to define a double double so usually a number can handle a double type with uh, the fractions up to specific decimal places. And uh, a decimal, decimal is also a number which can have fraction decimal places up to 29 decimal places. It can have up to 29 decimal places. And of course, we can define the octa, hexa, and uh, binary type of values. Exponent values, let exponent, 
is also a number. So exponent values usually like 2 e 3 which refers 2 into 10 to the power of 3. So it will be equal to 2000 the value for the exponent. So this is not a string representation here it is a numeric type and it can be any one of these binary hexadecimal and octa. Of course you know the binary hexadecimal and octa values. The hexa values the hexa values, binary values and octa values usually are configured by using these references. If you are not aware of what are binary hexa and octal, you will have an idea about them later in the discussion in the language that we are dealing with. Of course, if you have prior JavaScript knowledge, you might have worked with these hexa, binary and octal values. So anyhow, these are all the various numeric types. Now let's uh, print and see. So console.log, I am not printing all the details. Let's see the exponent. I want to print the exponent value, exponent value and we can print the exponent value here by accessing it. So console log is an output function which is printing the exponent value. Let us print the decimal value because we said that uh, decimal has 29 decimal places and uh, we will see whether it is uh, displaying all the values and it is not rounding these values, okay, that is the decimal. So we have uh, decimal, we have exponent, we have octa, all these are the numeric types. So when a value is any one of these following, that is a signed, unsigned, float, double, decimal, exponent, hex or binary and octal, then you have to define the data type as number. Number is the type to handle all these values. Now let us uh, once check this. So what exponent and what decimal values are returned. So here I will compile as uh, some type dot uh, ts and uh, node type uh, dot js. Okay. So here uh, our file name is types dot uh, ts. So let us run this tsc types dot ts that is the file name I given there and uh, we will compile and run this node types dot js and you can see the exponent and the decimal values. You can observe the exponent value that you have configured here is 2e3 which is 2 into 10 to the power of 3 and the decimal value you can see the exact decimal value is printed without rounding that value. That means it have the ability to handle up to 29 decimal places. So any incoming value is coming and it is a numeric type then we have to define as a number type and these are all the various types of numbers that you can store in a number type. So let us see what is a string type in the next session. Thank you.